Hi, you're welcome to another exciting episode of the Ola Show, and today we're doing something totally different. I have Janelle here with me, handy man. <laughs> today we're actually having a cook off where I will be teaching her how to make Nigerian jollof. Hmm. And what are you teaching me? I'm just gonna show her how to make two dishes that my kids love. Okay. I don't eat with salt, so I'm going to do lentils okay. and then I'm going to do a pasta dish because oh. they love pasta with a quick sauce. Okay. Still vegetarian though. Okay. Well, I don't know, it's, it's still got some you know, meat byproducts and some dairy that's going to be up in there. Y'all okay. all right with that? All right. I'm going to be making Nigerian jello yeah. with chicken and pepper sauce and some fried plantains. Mm, she didn't add something to the mix. She's sneaky with hers. It's okay. Is it gonna be hot, mild? It's gonna be Okay, because of you, I'll make it mild. No, 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 no. I don't want it mild. Like, I want it hot. Very hot. Like, that's how you eat it in Nigeria. Right now, we in Nigeria, y'all. Okay, we in LA, but we in Nigeria. This is the Ola show. Okay, I need it spicy. Okay, it's gonna be spicy, but not too hot. Just so that you can enjoy I'm it. I'm gonna enjoy it. Trust me. It's no, 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 trust me. <laughs> okay. okay. All right, we'll figure it out when we start cooking. Okay, all right, I, I trust you. <laughs> Good. Let's go. All right, guys, it's Cheers. still the Ola show. The show continues in a bit. Cheers. So what you have there? Okay, so what I have here is bow tie pasta, okay. or it's called fafala pasta. Mm -hmm. It's one of my kids' favorite pasta. So I'm gonna cook that until it's al dente, which okay. isn't too soft and isn't still too stiff. Okay. I'm gonna let that boil, drain it, set it to the side, because this is a dish that I do in one pot. Oh. Did you hear what I said? One pot. Whoever's day it is to clean the kitchen, they love when I cook this. <laughs> it's one, one pot. pot. All right, so that's how we start off with that. What you got going on over there? Okay, so I'm boiling water for the rice, mm -hmm. which I'm going to parboil. I'm just going to measure it. How so you do you measure it, huh? Yeah, how much See, do you eat? Well, you know, girl, I don't eat that much. I eat six meals a day and they all small. So I will probably- You shouldn't be telling people you eat six meals a day. Why? You have one meal a day and pick things. No, Ola, <laughs> that's how you do. You pick things, like little carrots here and there. No, that's all. No, no. It's six, me six small meals a day okay. keeps your metabolism right, girl. Okay. You see it? You see it, right? That's them six meals right there. All I see is one meal. <laughs> Tiny things during the day. You're I'm a muncher. <laughs> You're a muncher. We're gonna start calling you munchy. Yeah. Uh, so do you? You? So you measure? Cause I don't measure. Certain things I measure, but dishes like this, yeah. I don't measure anything. I don't no, measure if, my ingredients or okay. anything. No, no, I don't measure all that. If I'm cooking for myself, I don't measure. Mm -hmm. But I'm cooking for three people, so I'm gonna measure. Oh, because it's a, it's a larger quantity. Yeah. I see. And I think I haven't cooked with this rice before. I hope it swells so that we have more. So, is jasmine rice typically the rice that you use for jasmine? No. What rice do you normally use? We have we have our Nigerian rice, oh. and we have some other long grain rice mm. that we use. But with this, what I have to be brown really careful. Long grain rice. Yeah, but I we usually don't use that for jollof. Uh huh. You can use that for any other thing, but not jollof. All right, my pasta is almost done because I started it a little teeny bit earlier. So we're going to boil this. That's your rice? Yes. Mm -hmm. Now I'm moving on to the, the lentils that I'm making. Now typically I will take the tomatoes, fresh tomatoes, and boil them so that the skin comes off easy and then I will crush them. Um, Cause I don't cook this dish with salt cause I don't eat salt in the food that I eat. Um, but when I'm making it for the kids and I wanna make it fast, I use me a can of crushed tomatoes and keep it pushing. So that's what I'm gonna do for you guys today. Cause you know, when you're cooking for a dinner party and I usually cook everything, yeah. I've got to find quick ways to make dishes. So everything I make is usually homemade. Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes it's almost homemade. You know, a little bit of this and a little bit of that. 
You know what? I think I only needed one day on cannabis. I did. I am going to use three cups of water. That's good. Okay, so the next step is you blend your sweet peppers. I have some habaneros there and tomatoes. So <laughs> This is meant to give it color, but it doesn't look like it's going to give me the color I want. Why? But why? Though? It has to be very red. But is it because the, you use the orange habaneros? I think so. And then back at home, we have this kind of... I need to look for the English name for it. It's called tatashe. Tatashe. <laughs> I like tatashe. So it's red like this. Oh, it's really so deep yeah, red. Yeah, so it's deep red and mm -hmm. that gives it the color we need. I feel like I want some of that in my, um, in my, uh, in my lentils. You see how we working together as a team, right? You, you see how we working together as a team. I'm not stingy with mine, okay? We are chefs sharing the same kitchen, which I don't do. But I'm making an <laughs> Most women don't. For today. <laughs> um, so I have poured my uh, pasta off. And I'm gonna use this same pan to saute my kale. With some olive oil and some garlic. Yeah, that's good. Typically I use spinach because spinach reduces a little faster. You gotta cook kale a little bit longer because it's a tougher green. And it's a little bitter so it could change the flavor of um, of the pasta, but I love kale, it's so good for you. I'm into the healthy eats, you know? A Little bit of garlic, a lot of garlic. Garlic is good for you, it's one of my favorites. So I'm gonna saute this, so it can shrink. So this is the part where I cut the onions. I use red onions, because that's what I'm used to. I, I like, like red the onions. color. Red onions are my favorite. Well, I do like yellow sweet onions too. Okay. But I'm not mad at a red onion, okay? Well, we basically use red onions in Nigeria, so. Mostly? Only? Yes. The only time we probably use white onions will be for salad. This is what I don't measure. This is turmeric. This is the good stuff. Now, some people add curry, but you know what curry is? Curry is turmeric. And all the things that I'm gonna put in here. But curry in the jar that's already curry has salt in it. And I don't eat salt. Salt make your body retain water. <laughs> this is ginger. Now I could grate ginger, fresh ginger, but y'all know how hard it is to grate egg on ginger. It is not a game. So I don't bother with it, that's gone. More ginger. Ooh, look at that ginger! Look at that ginger! Okay. And then garlic. Ooh, garlic. <laughs> you never have too much of garlic. That's the garlic. I'm gonna put a little bit of cayenne in there for the kick, because my girlfriend, she like a little kick, even though it ain't gonna be enough kick, she gonna have to add her own hot sauce, but it's okay. <laughs> Coriander. Mm. I'm gonna add that back in, because remember guys, this is what? A one dish meal. So I've got my pasta. All right, this is pesto. And sometimes, sometimes, I make it from scratch, but that's a lot of dang on pine nuts. Put that in here. Boom shakalaka. Toss that up. Get that all in there like that. Looks good. Mm. You smell that pesto? Yeah. Mm. I like then the I add the cream. Already. And I add, because the cream can sometimes get a little thick yeah. before you want it to. So when I'm making it for myself, I will use, boom, vegetable stock. 
I'm making it for the kids, I will make, um, use chicken stock. Because I, I wouldn't, I would actually add chicken. Uh, chicken or shrimp to this. This is one of their favorite dishes. They would be mad at me <laughs> if, I, um, if I didn't put no chicken up in here. So you got this here. I'm using just half of it because I need the remaining half for the pepper sauce. Then mm. some bay leaves. Look, that's done. That fast. That was fast. You wanna get your fork and taste it? And then we're gonna add some hot sauce to it. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, I guess should be fine. Oh wait. Cause see if I was plating it, I would have some cheese on it. Mm -hmm. Yay. Mm. Uh, mm. Mm. And you see how fast that was done? This is really nice. Uh, all things don't have to be spicy to be good. No, but I'm gonna add some spice. I know you are. I, I don't have any chili peppers for you, so. Exactly. <laughs> now I put some ground um, coriander in there, mm -hmm. but I like a bit of a crunch. Oh, good. So. Yeah, see how the color change? Yeah. See how the color change? So this is Cameroon pepper that I added to it. The Cameroon pepper yes. is like black pepper. Yes. But now, it's really hot. Oh, it's really hot. Yeah. Mm. Okay, this is done and I'm going to move on. I don't need this pot. It smells nice already. It does smell nice. Mm. I'm going to retain so much water. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Let me it's see. not hot. Is it? It's oh my lord, Jesus. <laughs> oh, that's hot. Really? Oh, but that's good. <laughs> that's really hot. <sighs> but it's good though, y'all. It's good. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> so is the rice going to cook more in there? Yes. Okay. I cannot wait to eat that. Nobody wants this American food. <laughs> Ooh, I can't wait to eat that. Mmm. 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 Yeah, but what about your chicken? You, but your chicken is already done. You just have to... I'm just gonna make it in... I'm just gonna fry it and make it in another pepper sauce. Yes. See, I didn't like those crushed tomatoes that I used. Oh, no, they are right. Do I have everything in here? Let me think. Do I have everything in here? supposed to have in here. So this is the part where I add the chicken stock. Mm. That's chicken stock? Yes. You bought it in the container like that or you nope, made it? I made it from the chicken. Oh, from the chicken? Because you boiled the chicken. Yes. I'm going to cover this. I think the next thing to do is plantains. Plantains. Get ready to fry our plantains. Oh, this is true. She's going to fry her plantains. Yes. I love cilantro. Oh. Like, it's one of my favorite herbs of all time. I love it so. Oh, I love, don't y'all love cilantro? Cilantro, oh, 
It just does something to me. I wonder if they make cilantro in a body oil. <laughs> <laughs> They be walking around calling me, hey, cilantro. I be like, hey. hey. <laughs> Ooh, you see those coming together? Mm -hmm. Now, y'all know the orange lentils cook way faster okay. than the, um, the green lentils. Have you noticed <laughs> how sly we are in the kitchen? <laughs> I'm just saying, if you're going to cook, be cute. It's exactly. the two Cooking while cute. CWC. Yeah, That's yeah. the name of the new show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got to be cute while you cook. When you're cute when you cook, your food tastes better. Yeah, and it makes you happier. Absolutely. Oh, see, like that one right there, that's mine. Okay. That's okay. mine. I like my men dark. I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> my plantain dark. I'm sorry. I like your I men. I got caught up. I got caught up. <laughs> always thrilled to experience the culture of another country by way of food because sometimes all you get is just that so I know she's not gonna be that excited about eating this because it ain't hot but it's okay because I am triply excited about this jollof she about to make up in here okay <laughs> That's how I remember it right there. <laughs> Don't even understand. That is hot. It's like it's getting hotter. The longer it cooks, the hotter it gets. <laughs> I love it. I'm about to be on fire up in here. the lentils made with um, turmeric, coriander, cumin, cilantro, ginger, garlic, tomatoes. You can use canned tomatoes or you can use fresh tomatoes. It just depends on how quick you want to make it. You can use brown lentils, um, I'm sorry, green lentils or red lentils. Red lentils cook a lot faster than the brown lentils because they're smaller. Um, I finished, I added kale and onions. Oh, and mustard seed is in there. I drizzled it with a little bit of cream and finished it with some fresh cilantro. What's that? Are you tasting your fucking? <laughs> <laughs> We've been talking forever. <laughs> yes, it is. Okay. Well, tell, 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 so I'm going to I'm going to give you a bit of a recap. This is jollof rice um, with a lot of spice, with some tomatoes, sweet peppers, habaneros. And then you have your fried plantains. And then I just drizzled some cilantro on it. Nice. And then you have your beautiful fried chicken sauce. This is, I don't know which is my favorite, but then. What's in it though? Those like are those. onions? Yeah, you have onions, you have the same thing. Peppers. Peppers, tomatoes, and yeah, that's all. Nice. And then the and last. That's some spice. Thing, that's some spice. And the spices. Yeah. The spices too. The last thing I made was fafala pasta, vegetarian, with sun dried tomatoes, kale, and artichokes. I mixed it with pesto sauce, cream, and vegetable broth. Made a nice little creamy sauce and finished it with some parmesan, some sh um, shredded parmesan. Ooh, we can't wait to eat, y'all. So now listen, we're going to post the, uh, the recipes. Y'all gonna get y'all eat on because listen, look, 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 look at this one right here. She can't, she can't even do a closing, girl. She can't keep talking. Mm. This is really nice, trust me. You need to eat this. Let me say. Mmm. Mm. That's good too. Let me say. Mmm. That's really good. Mmm. Mmm. That's good to the jolla. Everything is good. Welcome back. It's still the all issue. And after eating so much food oh <laughs> and enjoying the meal, yes. now it's time to sing our hearts out. And guess yes. what? I'm making her do one of Burner Boy's songs. Yes. In honor <laughs> of the jollof <laughs> rice exactly. that I consumed, <laughs> we're going to. 
keep it up with the theme. Yeah. And what's the name of the song? On the low. On like the low. Burn up boy. It's kill Kill Yeah. 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 This is my mm. part. Pop it up. 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 Pop Angelina, Angelina, you take cool my temperature. If I call you up, you deliver. And I fall on your hand, you never. Should I be in the love forever? Forever. I'm not going to be in the dark. Oh, my Angelina, Angelina. Angelina, Angelina. Oh, my God. For the club at the television, your body. Your body. Show you no sense. When you call me, if you think you need somebody. Somebody. You know I feel a vibe, you feel a vibe. So baby, baby why ain't coming? And I know you shy, but it's cool. We're making love. Making, making love. On the low. On the low. so much fun. I hope you've enjoyed watching us also. Till next time. Bye for now. On the low. Yeah, she's taking it. <laughs> yeah, give them. Show them. Show them. Yeah. Go do now. Go do now. <laughs>